Hey guys, it's Sean. I'm gonna walk into 707 West Old AJ, broaden out the screen, let you see this great room. The great room is truly great. Vaulted ceiling, it's very nice. They finished, you've got open concept living room here. Uh, dining room or eat-in kitchen, however you wanna handle it, is there. And then of course you've got probably a four-seater bar. And I'm gonna apologize in advance. We need to pull the little thing on the uh, smoke alarms. It's very annoying. Sorry about that. Uh, but let me turn you back around. Let's see this really neat door. That's an eight foot tall door. It's kind of special there. Uh, there's a large window in the room. We have a lot of these stations for television, so you can see that there's a flat screen mounting point. You've got uh, Ethernet connectivity there, which is uh, for your wired networking if you want or need. And then we also have a cable TV outlet as well. Have one there and we also have one right here. While we're in the great room, we'll go ahead and step outside and let you see the covered porch. So we have a covered porch area here that's tile floor. Um, we'll pan, pan up here at the top, you can see the two little lights. And then you see we have a large deck out here. This is the Trex deck material here. Um, huge backyard. It goes all the way back you can kind of see in the distance where it changes color. It's got some sage grass or something back there in the back and ours is more green. That's where the edge of the property is. And it goes right up to that corner along that neighbor's drive. And then it splits halfway between this and the next house that will be built next door. Let's go into the two bedrooms on this side. Now, this hallway, you've got a little sconce light there. That's very cute. You've got some uh, little can lights. These are LED can lights at the top. And there's an access to a huge amount of storage on this side that is floored and you've just got a lot of room up there that you can pull that ladder down so first let's oh and we also have heat and air return vents on both ends of the house so that you keep comfortable year round so this is our first bedroom bedrooms are almost identical in size i'm going to try to zoom out for you so you can see how big this is it's very good size you've got your flat screen tv mounts up here You've got a double door closet here, lots of room in there. I'll show you that. You've got ventilated shelving hanging ready for you there. And there is a light switch here for inside the closet. All right, next room we're gonna look at is the bathroom. This is another full bath. Uh, we have two full baths and a half bath, so we'll let you see this. Beautifully done. We've got solid surface countertops. Uh, we've also got tile. Let's see the octagonal tile there. Uh, these are an upper scale uh, toilet from Kohler, and we also have a tile backsplash floor to uh, floor to tub tile situation. So it's very nice. We're gonna go down the hall to the next bedroom. Again, bedrooms are almost identical in size. This one could be slightly smaller. Same scenario: accent wall there, television mount there, double door closet here, lighted with the switch outside see that. There you go. Oh, can't forget the kitchen. We do have outlets underneath here for charging ports. Uh, we do have switches here as well. This island is a pretty neat touch. You've got enough room to put stools there and enjoy that. This is a leathered style top. So you'll see there's, it, it keeps things from sliding on the counter because you have these little indentions that are natural to the stone. And uh, it's, I think, a really nice touch, but it's a leathered top, a solid surface. You have undercounter lighting, which I think makes it look very special. Uh, you have an LG dishwasher, of course, brand new, 10-year warranty. Um, we also have LG on the stove. It is part of the Thin Q, which I think is their smart home technology. Um, that's in there. Uh, of course, garbage disposal here, crown molding on top. And again, an LG fridge. Let's just see what that looks like inside. Double door. This is a really cool spot. So this hallway, I don't know if you can tell, I'll let you see my feet, is very wide. And we built this in a way that uh, that width you can take advantage of with all of this counter space. You're coming in, you're setting groceries here, kids stuff is here to go out for the, uh, for the day, et cetera. This is kind of a work counter as well as under cabinet storage. So, if you want to put things like shoes and things like that underneath, this is a great spot for kind of that coming and going perspective. Really like the tile in this bathroom here. 
fancy pants, I like that a lot. Got a half bath right here. Solid surface again in here, mirror, and the upgraded toilet like we were talking about before. Uh, we also put outlets next to the toilet. I don't know if you think that's important. In case I need to charge, maybe I need to charge while I'm there. So it's very handy to have. So, all right, let's take a look down the hall. We've got a couple, we've got a pantry location here, lots of storage for additional food items there, just off the kitchen. Let's take a look at the laundry room. We have a pet sink, kind of a laundry sink right here. We have a stack unit configuration here, more uh, kitchen cabinetry here. Um, these are all very well-built uh, uh, wood uh, cabinetry. Uh, spot for a laundry bin underneath here. And I mentioned this earlier, this location is like a little side porch. So if you want to come in and out on the side, you can, that's coming around from the garage side to here. You've got a nice little porch right here on the side of the home. And your lot on this side, you can see in the distance where the driveway comes in, there's a fence right next to the driveway that continues to go straight right along these beautiful trees and then to the back of the lot. So, and that's what our little lanterns look like. They look cute. All right, now let's go into the master bedroom. Master bedroom, to say it's huge is an understatement. This is a massive master bedroom. You could have a king size bed sitting there. Uh, you could have a dresser over there and you could have a couch here if you wanted, or if you wanted a Peloton bike or some sort of exercise equipment, you've got enough room in this room to do a lot of different things here. The intention is the television would be placed on the opposite wall of the bed. So you've got an accent wall where the bed is, and then you've got up there for your television mount and good sized TV would fit there. Here is your walk-in closet. Of course, you've got a lot of closet space throughout the house, but this is additional closet space here. And you see the outlet at the back up high. We do that because that is for a steamer or for an iron, etc. You don't have to bend down every time you plug that in. Now for the master bath. Very bright, very uh, spacious, a double sink on the master bath. Some beautiful tile work we see here. A huge master bath shower. Let me give you a shot of this first. See the cabinet tray. Then we'll go in the shower so you can see in here. Huge, I mean, probably, I would say, 48 to 50 inches this way, and probably 36 to 40 inches the other direction. So very, very spacious. Uh, and then of course a clear glass door. So. Lastly, I'll show you is the toilet room in the master bath. Again, we've got our little plug right there, very important. And our fan of course is switched right inside there. So I think that's everything to show you. The only thing I'm gonna leave for last is the garage. There's some ladders and so forth. So let's not look at this. Let's just look up here at how nice the ceiling is. This is a cathedral ceiling in the garage. Lots of bright lighting. Um, super for if you've got tall vehicles, you've got a very tall door, as well as you've got a very tall room. So if you want to work on your car and lift it up, you're not worrying about something on the ceiling. We're gonna call them Tesla chargers, but they're really electric car chargers. They can be converted, like on a Tesla, you have an adapter for a 50 amp plug, but you're gonna get a very fast charge time. There's one on that side and there's one on that side. So you've got two sides to charge an electric car if you were to have them. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, we look forward to showing you this house. We think this is a fine home that many people would enjoy the style, the fit, the finish, and the fact that it's all on one level. That's very important for a lot of folks. And it's very spacious. Great for uh, a family of four or five. I think it'd be awesome. Have a great day. Thanks for watching our video.